Yeah? That's what the dad's gonna bring film.
So after the kinetic hacks that I built previously, a lot of people were asking me to do a side-by-side -side comparison. So with this hammer, I thought I'd do some testing. These are my own tests, I'm not a scientist. It's just something I wanted to do to just test them side by side to see how they compare. So here's a series of tests that I thought of. Three standard nails, they get three shots each nail, see how deep they get. Two of the domed head nails, see whether it glances I'm striking. And one large nail, see how many strikes it takes to get into the wood. I've also got some aluminium plate, which I'll be using for a ding test. And then I'll do a rebound test on the anvil. Both 35 centimeters length, and the exact same head, one round side, one flat side. So with the first set of nails, the standard hammer was obviously as a standard hammer would be. But I did notice that with the dead blow hammer, it was really not very accurate. However, when I was striking, it was a lot easier. I felt like the blow was a lot easier coming down. The second set went as I expected. Standard hammer hitting, a few obviously glinting blows. Dead blow hammer was really hard to rein it in on that one, missing on that last one as well. And with the last nail, what I did notice was with the standard hammer, I felt a lot of shock through my arm. Whereas with the dead blow hammer, although it was very inaccurate, it was a lot easier to strike down and there was obviously no shot coming back at me. With the aluminium strike, I felt like the dead blow hit a lot harder and the dings are a lot deeper on that as well. With both rebound tests from the anvil and the block of wood, I did notice a lot of shock coming up through my hand with the standard hammer and the dead blow hammer. Although it did rebound, the hit was definitely a lot heavier and there was no shock transfer through my hand. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this video format and the testing that I did. If I had to change anything, I'd definitely shorten or maybe make the wire rope a bit thicker so it was a bit more wieldable. Big thank you to DFM Toolworks for sending me one of these hammers and the heads which I use for the dead blow. If you look in the description, you'll find links to his website and his social media where you can pick up one of these beauties. I really appreciate if you gave this video a like and a share, and I'll see you next week for another video. Stick around for some outtakes. Look in the description for other stuff. Uh, yeah, fuck. I, uh, fuck. Fuck off. Peter, I love it. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, fucking hell. Is that serious? Fucking hell. Fuck. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs>